in today's video, we are going to test out the Wonder Waff here in Season 2 of Modern Warfare Zombies just to see how viable of an option it is to run this weapon. So let's go ahead and hop right into this one and we can go ahead and test out the Wonder Waff here in Season 2 of Modern Warfare Zombies. So everybody knows what we're going to do here. We're going to go ahead and use all of our items, use all of our perks, and I will single pack a punch this weapon, and we will test how it does in the tier 1 zone. So I would say so far that the Wonder Waff has probably been overall the most underwhelming Wonder Weapon so far inside of this game. So we're going to test out, see if it received a buff or anything, and see if it is any more viable than it used to be here inside of this game. So let me go ahead and pick up this ACV contract, and we will test this weapon out. All right, so starting up this ACV contract here, let me go ahead and turn down the volume for you guys on the game. Probably a little bit too loud for me to do a live commentary. We'll take it all the way down to 20, and we will just see how this gun does. So if you guys played the, like, original zombies, you know where this gun really shined was whenever you would have a big group of zombies, and it would, that, just like you see right there, string to all of them. I think the issue with this game when it comes to using this weapon is there's not many scenarios where there's just going to be a large group of zombies where it's being where it's stringing to them. But you guys did see right there, that one shot right there did end up going over to that mangler and completely one-shotting him. So that was actually kind of crazy to see. I don't remember if it used to do that or not. So we'll go ahead and keep just testing this out. I mean, obviously, we're only in Tier 1 here. I mean, I would hope that a Wonder Weapon would do pretty good here in the Tier 1 zone. And it looks to be doing all right. So we'll go ahead and continue to see how this does. One thing that I'm unsure of, because I haven't used this weapon much, is these ammo packs. Do this, will this give me ammo for the Wonder Waff? So it does. It looked like it gave me three shots right there, so that's pretty good. So I'd say my first impression right now here in the Tier 1 zone is, yes, this gun is pretty good. It looks like it was doing a ton of damage to all the zombies. But honestly, something that I'm really looking forward to testing out is how this does against a big game bounty. Because if this gun is this powerful and it can like one shot a big game bounty, it'll make this a lot more viable. So let me go ahead and finish up this contract and then we will pick up a big game bounty and see how this gun does then. Finishing up the ACV contract here, let's see what we got. So a self revive, blue tool, and brain rot. Awesome. So let's go ahead and pull up the mini map, look for the closest big game bounty. We will go pick this up and we will see how this gun does against a bounty here in the tier 1 zone. All right, rolling up on the bounty here. Let's see how many shots it takes to get rid of this guy. So we'll start out with just one shot. Kind of let the gun do its magic. Did almost nothing against him, honestly, to a second shot. And three shots altogether. So that was like just on par with what the ray gun was, except the ray gun holds a lot more ammunition. So that doesn't leave me too optimistic for going into the higher threat zone, but we can go ahead and try this gun out. We will double pack a punch it and we will move on to the tier two area. All right, so doing a sport control contract here in the tier two zone, we're going to try to get a large, like the biggest group of zombies that we can and just see how well this gun does at taking out a big group of zombies. So we're going to go ahead and throw all these inhibitors down on all of these fours. Try our best not to shoot any zombies because all we're trying to do here is get the biggest group of zombies we possibly can and then see how easy it is for the Wonder Waff to take them out. So we got a few more here. Doesn't look like we have too many zombies chasing us just yet. So hopefully they start spawning in a little bit quicker. But this is, I would say this spore control contract is by far one of the best when it comes to getting larger groups of zombies. Just because you can kind of follow the path that I did and just run from spore to spore, throwing the inhibitors on them. And that's just naturally going to group up a bunch of zombies for you. So we'll go ahead and shoot out all of the spores except for one. And then hopefully by then we will have a large group of zombies behind us. It sounds like we do got a bunch of dogs chasing us right now, which I hate to see that. Those guys get annoying to deal with. I'll go ahead and take them out now using the Ram 9, which I think is one of my favorite SMGs in the game at the moment. But we got two more spores we can go ahead and take down. Obviously, we don't want to shoot that last one. If we shoot the last one, then all the zombies will end up dying, and that's not what we're wanting. So let's turn around here, see how many zombies we got. Doesn't look like we have too many. I mean, we got a pretty good group of them here. Let's do our best at trying to get them bundled up together a little bit better so that we can shoot just one shot at the massive group. And then I'd, I'd say that's good enough. So let's go ahead and shoot a few shots into this. And let's see how this gun's doing. 
So I shot five shots there. It took out the Mangler, the Disciple, and the entire group of zombies. So, I mean, so far it looks like this gun is really good at taking out these large groups of regular zombies, which is kind of what I remember from whenever I was playing the original Zombies game modes. But I do wish it did a little bit better with taking out the big game bounties. But we'll see. We will go ahead and move on to the big game bounty here in Tier 2, and we, we will see how this gun performs. All right, and rolling up on the Mimic here, let's see how many shots it takes to take this guy down. So we'll take one shot, two shots, three, four, five, and six, question mark? No, it's going to take seven shots all together to take down a Mimic here. Never mind, it took eight shots. So eight shots to take down a Mimic here, a big game bounty here in the Tier 2 zone. So that is a little bit underwhelming whenever you consider this is a wonder weapon at the end of the day that only has about 36, 37 shots, I think, in the uh, mag, not in the magazine, in the ammo reserve, That because you don't have a lot of ammo then. But let me go ahead and go into the tier three zone. Let me triple pack a punch my weapon and we will test this gun here in tier three. All right, doing an outlast contract here. Let's see how this gun does here in tier three. So it looks like it's taken a little while for zombies to spawn here, but that's all right. So we got them all grouping up, coming up these stairs right here. So we're going to shoot one shot and see how it does against all them zombies that were running up. So kind of just like how it was in Tier 2, it's very good at taking out these, like, big groups of zombies. But it just, it lacks the power with taking out the big game bounties that I would like to see it do. So let's go ahead. We're going to just run around a little bit. I don't want to just take down onesie twosie zombies right now. I kind of want to get them grouped up just a little bit better so we can get a formal test and see how this gun does against them. So we do got a disciple here. This will be a good test. Let me go ahead and shoot this armored zombie here. And then that's one thing that I am noticing with this weapon that is extremely good. It seems like some of like the regular special zombies, not the big game bounties, that it does extremely well at taking them down. Like one or two shots, not even shooting the special zombie, can take them down just from the chaining effect that this weapon has. So let me try to get another group of zombies grouped up here really quick. And then we will try this out one more time. So just because I hate dogs, we're going to go ahead and take these guys out. And just like that, freezes them all in their tracks, and it's going to have no issue taking them down. Let's go ahead and shoot one more shot here and see if it can take these guys down. And two shots takes out the whole group right there. So it is extremely good at taking that out. Let's check our reward here. And nothing, of course. So now we're going to go ahead and test this against a big game bounty here in tier 3 and see how this gun performs. Alright, rolling up on the Mangler here. Let's see how this gun does. So we're going to go ahead and use Ether Shroud and just lock it in on taking this guy out. And it did almost nothing against this guy. See if we can't go ahead and try to spam shoot him a little bit. Hopefully we don't run out of ammo trying to take him out. Uh-oh. We don't want to go down, I'll tell you that. Go ahead and try to run away a little bit. We need, definitely need to get some ammo back right there. Get this dog off of us. And try to finish this mangler off. So we got him super close to going down. We only have four more shots. Got to make this one count. And just like that. See, I'm going to be completely honest. I completely lost track of how many... Oh my gosh, why is there a mega abomination here? Where did he even come from? Let me get this kaboom. See what we got. I'll take that. I'm gone. I am gone. Where did this guy even come from? I want nothing to do with him right now. Peace. Yeah, I'll see you, buddy. Yeah, I lost my train of thought right there whenever that mega abomination spawned. But yeah, I completely lost track of how many shots it take. All I know is it took way too many to kill him than I would have wanted to see. There are so many better options when it comes to taking out big game bounties inside of this game. And even the ray gun's better, which is a completely underperforming weapon here in this game also. So I'd say my general consensus right now of this weapon is that it's good at taking out the regular zombies, especially whenever you can group them up. But whenever it comes to taking out big game bounties and some of the more health zombies, it really isn't all that well. And I'd like to see this gun perform just a little bit better in them scenarios. So I will go ahead and exfil really fast and then I'll give you guys my final thought of what I think about this weapon. And that is going to do it for the video, guys. If you did find this video useful or entertaining, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment down below, and hitting that subscribe button so that you never miss another upload. My final opinion on this weapon is that it is really good at taking out large groups of zombies, but severely lacks the damage it needs to take out some of them big game bounties, especially in the higher threat zones. 
But if you're just playing the game to take out big groups of zombies, this is going to be a viable option that I would recommend using. And if you guys want to know what the ray gun looks like after the buff in Season 2, make sure you watch the video in the first link in the description below. And with that, I will catch you guys all in the next one.